Hi guys, I am Tani Gai. Now we are going to see how to make a mutton leg soup. Let's see, get into the video. 20 liters mutton leg soup preparation required items. First, mutton legs, 8 full pieces, smally chop, second, turmeric powder, 50 grams, garam masala, 100 grams, red chili powder, 50 grams, onion, 2.5 kg, tomato, 2.5 kg, ginger garlic paste, 500 grams, green chili, 5 numbers, coriander leaf, 1 bunch, mint leaf, 1 bunch, refined oil, 50 ml, salt required level, lemon, 2 numbers, corn flour, half kg. Take 25 liters of vessel and Add 18 liters of water and salt. Add spark the required taste. Add in the water and allow it to boil. In between that, prepare a ginger garlic paste 500 grams and add 250 grams of ginger garlic paste in the boiling water and allow it to boil. Take the chopped goat leg and add it to the boiling water and let it be boiling in between that we need to make a soup masal which is to be added in the boiling water for that you need to make prepare a masal first have a fry pan in the stove and add 50 ml of oil and allow it to boil in between that you chop 2.5 kg of onion and 2.5 kg of tomato and 5 chili once oil is boiled you need to add chopped onion 2.5 kg and 5 numbers of green chilli in the heated oil and mix the onion thoroughly. This onion should be fried till it becomes golden yellow color you want to regularly mix this onion because it will get dried in the bottom side of the pan and spoil the taste of the soup you want to regularly mix the onion in the fry pan in between that get ready with the tomato chopped and then masalas required turmeric powder, garam masala, chilli powder, corn flour get ready with this one this is a turmeric powder, garam masala, chilli powder, salt Corn flour, the corn flour we are having, get ready with this one. Here we also have chilli powder, once onion is fried till the golden color. So almost near the golden color Let's regularly check this one and mix it thoroughly.
once it it is near to the golden color add remaining 250 grams of ch- ginger garlic paste add mix it thoroughly till the raw smell of the ginger garlic leaves from the masala and also have a check it does not have become a dry in the fry pan and to check that one once the raw smell goes you add the 2.5 kg of tomato and mix it thoroughly just mix the tomato thoroughly and also have a look the tomato it's getting dry in the bottom surface of the vessel if it happens you can add water a little bit to the tomato and then mix it well just mix the gravy well and when the tomato get fully smashed in the gravy and become a become a gravy like substance tomato want to get smashed and want to become a gravy like substance in the boiling thing once it become a gravy like consistency we check the consistency whether it is dry if it is dry you add water in the gravy that is a masala we are using which which is going to be used in the soup here we are going to add 50 grams of turmeric powder in the masala and mix it in the masala thoroughly so that raw smell of the turmeric goes out just to mix the turmeric powder in the masala thoroughly see yeah, that steam is a raw smell which is getting out from the masala now we are going to add a garam masala 100 grams So we are adding a garam masala 100 grams mix the masala thoroughly in the prepared gravy or masala see now the that raw smell of the masala is getting out of the gravy that's steaming highly is a important process where this masala should be mixed thoroughly in the prepared gravy
Sina wants the rasmel of the masal gets out of the gravy. See here, the masal is boiling well. It is ready to be added in the soup. Now we are adding 50 grams of chili powder, red chili powder in the gravy. This red chili powder makes soup to look red color. Just mix the red chili powder to the oil substance which is floating in the gravy. Just mix it thoroughly in the oil and then after that mix the whole masala well and boil well it becomes somewhat thick after that add the masala which is prepared in in the soup in this video we have prepared a masal extra for additional soups but what the quantity which has been specified in this video you want to prepare according to that one and mix whole masal that is 2.5 kg of onion 2.5 kg of tomato 250 grams of ginger garlic paste 50 grams of turmeric powder, 100 grams of garam masala, 50 grams of chili powder and then mix it in the soup. After that take 2 liters of water, normal water and add half kg of corn flour and mix it to get a corn flour milk this corn flour milk should be as per the thickness which we want in the soup the thickness if you want more thickness you can increase the corn flour quantity you can make it to 1 kg for 20 liters we are using half kg for 20 liters you want you can increase the corn flour quantity and then mix the corn flour milk in the soup you can see the soup it's getting somewhat thick in the boiling pan so it becomes somewhat thick we allow the soup to boil and then add extra mutton fat and extra mutton chopped leg pieces and then add coriander leaf and then mint leaf which is chopped and then allow it to boil till all ingredients are mixed thoroughly and have a check whether mutton fat and then mutton leg chopped is cooked properly and also you want to use mutton fat which is not dissolved in the soup that, that kind of fat you need to add once mutton like 
leg piece are boiled you can serve it to the family members and check the taste everything is good Thank you for watching the video. Let's meet in next video.